Hi guys, so I was on Facebook this other day and I was watching this other man who was talking about the benefits of um, this, what was it, finger millet? It was finger millet, yeah, I think so, something like that. And the man was speaking of its, uh, you know, benefits in terms of nutritional value and he was comparing it with our popular maize meal. And um, he was saying that maize meal actually doesn't have much benefits, especially if it's over processed or rather, let me say, super refined, it loses all its goodness. So he was saying that uh, finger millet is actually good. Is it rapoco? I don't know if it's the same thing, but he was speaking about those other plants, you know, that grow even in drought in drought so those are drought resistant uh plants or crops he was saying that they are more beneficial in terms of nutrients and uh, lately i have found myself you know needing more food that is high in iron eh? because we're having some complications when it comes to iron so i need to uh, supplement my iron I, it's, it's another story for another day so i love already i love spinach i love spinach it's it's good but you know it's, it's seasonal sometimes you can't just find it everywhere uh, but also i have read up on sorghum sorghum in yawuti and uh, it's said that in yawuti is also high in potassium magnesium zinc iron it's got b vitamins it's it's just a good uh you know it's good crop so i want to try it i want to try it i know when i was growing up whenever uh you know my mom and dad would cook or make it we wouldn't eat it we always liked you know it's it um, made from uh millennial and one of the reasons it was the fact that you know with inya which i don't know how they made it but it had some soil in in it it's some soil so when you were chewing it would actually you know affect your teeth and i hated that fact but i think maybe if it's processed from the shops they would get rid of that soil effect and it would be done in a proper manner i, I am hoping so i went to green supermarket today and bought sorghum so i want to cook it i don't know you guys are gonna cook with me but i want to cook make it and eat it with fresh milk i had late lunch so i'm just gonna make just a simple 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 supper so come and fresh milk let's hope i'll be able to eat it because i bought two cages so this is just to taste waters because i think i need to get rid of maize milk so yeah let's go so yeah let's make the circumstance and see if we can make it so firstly we are going to boil water i mean i'm going to use the same method that i use to cook sides are using millimil so first turn on the stove okay secondly not first because first we have to put the water <laughs> uh, okay so that is the brand that i got from green's supermarket in Woblawayo. So we'll just have to open it up uh, and uh, hopefully this thing is not as bad. <laughs> but tell me, how do you cook? How do you cook your sadza? Either munga or mapundi or amavidi. Ah, so I was busy saying nyawiti. No, this is not nyawiti. This is mavili. Ah, damn, I feel so stupid now that I'm looking at this video and doing this voiceover. So I was trying to show you here, but it was just spilling all over. My hands are not really that steady. <laughs> so you, before you mix it with hot water, you have to mix the powder or the midi, uh, not the midi, the sorghum meal. Huh? Ivan, what do you call this? Yes, it's sorghum. Sorghum what? Sorghum meal. Yes, you have to mix the sorghum meal uh, using cold water into a semi-thick paste uh, and then you know after your water has boiled you then have to pour uh, 
add the boiling water into that thick paste that you mixed with cold water and then whilst you are mixing you have to keep on stirring to prevent your um, you know porridge from lumping and you know we don't want lumps you know so this is me stirring yeah I do have upi so what do you call that in Shona I don't know I've forgotten I think so when it's boiling like this you can then uh, close it up with the lid and let it boil for quite some time I don't know how many minutes I mean I win this I don't have a timer for this so after that uh, you know it says boiling obviously it's on fast forward you then add more meal uh, to make it very thick uh, you know to make it salsa do you know guys I actually believed you know when I was growing up I actually believed that salsa is an English word only now when I've grown up do I realize no man no man this is sure now this is not even English nobody knows salsa out of Zimbabwe <laughs> so crazy but yes wonder go wonder mix it up into a very very thick uh, thick paste that's not moving you know close it up let it simmer reduce the uh, you know the heat from the stove and let it simmer you know after it simmers come back again and wonder again well, how do you say who wonder in english i don't know guys eh, i'm not white i'm not white hey eh? but you do that that thing that you're seeing so now i'm dishing up i'm dishing up do you guys like molding your salsa or you just you know eat it like that i like molding my salsa we're having some milk fresh milk from pick and pay yeah i know i know it's not summer but hey eh, this is what i like now this might be triggering a bit because <laughs> the way i'm eating yeah 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 i was going in <laughs> i was going in one i wasn't i wasn't really hungry but i was hungry uh, and two you know i was i, I, was, I was trying to feel the sorghum i'm i'm a really i'm a really yes i'm a really i'm not in your own i'm a really <laughs> I made a mistake at the beginning of this video please forgive me but hey please if this is triggering you please just exit or wait after like nine minutes on minutes number nine that's when we end this video but I, I finished this other although I did feel uh, you know some fragments of soil here and there but once or twice where if you see me flinching my face you know but you no know, i was devouring this i was devour i was going in i've always said this i'm a salsa eater i, I would never eat salsa in a fancy way i, I would um, i would embarrass you i would embarrass you when you go out with me so look at me eating it um when you see me in person this is not me <laughs> so guys as you saw i devoured that um is there a difference from maize milk not really there's no difference i guess the difference is in color um uh, maybe the consistency i don't know but consistency depends on how much million uh how much soak up you put on your sadza i think <laughs> uh also the difference oh is okay the color the taste not really but the scent is quite different from um maize no i'm not drinking warm water here after that we have to go and brush our teeth and we are done with dinner this is my night routine no not really this is not a night routine but i tried that and i think i can do it every other day because i don't eat salsa every day so i think i can on days that i'm meant to eat salsa i can actually eat that i can actually scrape off mealy meal it was okay it was good i have to try it obviously with savory relations because i only had it with milk but maybe try something with salt and stuff <laughs> i'll see how it tastes um i was talking about it having some components of, of soil 
uh, back then I did feel something you cannot go in and chew with almighty force you know so um, it's still the same uh, though the components they are a bit you know just if you if you saw the video it's so I was twitching just a bit because when you go you, you know when you chew something that is solid it goes like <laughs> on your teeth so but overall I'm actually impressed at how soil free it was there were a bit of you know a few components of soil i don't know if it's soil or something i don't know but it feels like so it feels like solid so yeah but i love i maybe it's the brand but i love it i love it i i like it it's okay we are going to continue with it so from your pixels you guys in my next video bye